Emma Lenny Benyo Nile Loco Esiku Dedi Asiku Yi. Hello everyone, it's Adirum Ke again. I hope your day is going well. Today I'll be addressing another Iwuri, another positive wish or prayer. And this one involves safety on the way or on the path, safety while traveling or journeying or moving from point to point. And the Iwuri, the prayer is Ao Niri. You could leave the T out. It's not absolutely necessary. You could just say, Ao Niri ni joy bim pono. Ao Niri ni joy bim pono. If you want to stretch that out, because there are word combinations in it, Nijo, for example, it's not an original word, it's a combination of two words. Pono is also. Not an original word, it's a combination of two words. If you want to stretch that out, you could say, Ao nere ni ojoti ebi bang pa ono. Ao nere ni ojoti ebi bang pa ono. The T is not necessary. It's not a necessary inclusion, as well as the ba. Ba is used for expressing probability. So if or may uh, or in case are common english translations that are assigned to it depending on where it is in a sentence sometimes it's if sometimes it's may but its purpose is to express probability t is that and it's not necessary to include either that so you could just say so that might make it a little bit easier for you to memorize. Before I proceed, I have to say the road or path is personified to paint a picture with this prayer. And there are other ones like it. For example, Ono Ninoa. That one involves a play on words as well with the homonymic qualities of the word no. But it's another one in which the road is personified, the path is personified to buttress the prayer or more like to paint a picture. So that's the first thing that one notices with this prayer if you look at the the words one by one to see what they mean a is we o is not it negates so not works ni is will could say in this context ri is walk but extensively could also be to journey or to travel besides to walk could be to journey or to travel Ni is on here. None of these words are perfect equivalents of this, but the English translations that work, depending on where they are in the statement, the ni here is like on. Ojo is day or the day. T is that, but it doesn't have to be included. Ebi is hunger. Hunger. And if you look at what it is in and of itself because it's not they're not perfect equivalents either we're just using english words that work a b the a there is the noun maker the b is the verb you combine noun makers with verbs to form nouns many times and those noun makers are typically one letter or two at most they typically have just one letter or two and they would start the word the noun maker the thing that is what works here the thing that b is to ask or to inquire to ask to request so the thing that asks is what the yoruba people consider onga to be i don't know if i don't know where the word onga originates from i could check very quickly I feel like it might have Germanic roots. Yes, that's right. 
it has germanic roots it, it was learned from german <laughs> the, i don't know words that were learned from german typically just often have a feel to them <laughs> and very often i i get immediately that those words have germanic roots so anger has germanic roots and google translate doesn't give the in and of itself of what it is in german you know and, and what has been expressed but in the yoruba language the thing that asks is what we consider anger to be the thing that asks give me now if you like you can respond by feeding it with a stone <laughs> or with i mean anything food preferably of course uh but it just asks give me something now you know that you have to give it food not stone not a uh, piss not anything that might be harmful to your body give me something i'm in need of something the thing that asks so that's a b in and of itself but of course since we're looking for a one word translation we could just say anger mm is is ao nearly ni ojo a b a b anger mm is like is but mm when it is it starts to learn like this it suggests that something is happening or something happens so is or are uh, even in the plural form is mm pa is the most versatile <laughs> yoruba verb you know it could be extinguish it could be kill it could be turn off it could be rub on it could be hatch <laughs> it could be crack open it, it's such a versatile verb in this context it's like negatively affect negatively affect ba okpa milara something negatively affect simply or no is the path or the way and the in and of itself of that the or there is the noun maker the no is the verb so when you combine both you get a noun noun maker plus verb will typically give you noun no is to stretch out the or there the thing that no is to stretch out it could be to beat or hit as well when we're talking about the homonymic aspect of it and that's where the beauty of ononi noa that's another positive wish that's another prayer that i'm going to address sometime in the future ononi noa it could be to beat or to hit as well as stretch out so the thing that stretches out anyway is is what what it is now the english translations could be way or path or road you know or route but the thing that stretches out that lays out for you to walk on or no or no the thing that stretches out for you to walk on for you to journey on au nearly ni ojo ibimpa or no so when you put those words together the english words that we've assigned to each yoruba word we will not walk on the day that anger is negatively affecting the path or way that's the raw form when you put those each word together the transliteration we will not walk on the day that anger is negatively affecting the path or way or <laughs> simply if you want to translate we will not walk on the day that the way or path is hungry now what does that mean the path the way the road that we walk on is it's just almost always there <laughs> as if it's hibernating or it's sleeping or it's laying down even and, and we continuously walk on it but the mental picture that is being painted here is sometimes it wakes up from that lying down state that hibernation state if you will and and requests for food which very often could be flesh and blood uh now what happens is on that day again it's a uh, it's literature it's just, it's just a mental picture that is being painted on those days those that are on the way that are on that part of the road that wakes up would typically encounter some misfortune now even before cars became introduced or whatever other forms of modern forms of transportation exist bikes 
bicycles and all that sometimes it could just be people walking very simply you know walking with their feet and and something happens and maybe they hit their feet on on the or their or their foot on a stone and they and they fall and their head hits a it's a rock or something or for whatever reason they're not looking and they fall into a ditch like even with just the feet <laughs> different misfortunes could happen in that regard now talk less of now that we have machinery that are just as useful as they are dangerous sometimes but we need them for ease <laughs> you know sometimes the road or path gets hungry so we will not walk on on those days we will not journey on those days we will not be outside on those days we will not be on the road on those days when misfortunes seem to be bound to happen we will not walk on those days when the road that is typically just lying flat stretched out like that for us to walk on besides that they are hungry and they want to eat or get hungry and and wants to eat so we will not walk when there is danger or harm on the road that's really the meaning of this iwuri of this prayer we will not walk when there is danger or harm on the road when it's not safe outside so when you say that to a person oh nearly enjoy being pun or even if you say it to yourself i have a video on pronouns that you might want to check out so that you would know how to switch out pronouns me or nearly enjoy being pun i would not walk on the on the day that the road is hungry oh nearly enjoy being pun or you will not walk or journey or travel on on such days our nearing we will not and so on one or nearing they would not i'll link that video so that you can learn how to switch out pronouns so when you say that to a person or when you pray that prayer you're saying no harm will come to you on the way and you always get to your destination safely no harm will come to you on the way and you always get to your destination safely you will be safe when you walk when you journey when you travel you will be safe i will nearly enjoy being one we will not walk a journey or travel on the day that the road is hungry so that's that if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask thank you for watching and for your time and for your support and i'll see you in the next video enjoy the rest of your day and bye for now